All right, chat, I am back. So up next, we'll do a flat super player, uh, Sevi game. So while this loads up, anything you want to say about this game, Sevi gamer? Oh, it's also new. Sevi gamer, like a gaming. Sorry. And up next, we should have some team reviews. Oh my god, my spelling. Right. So, that game, I think it was a win. As long as it's close, it's probably fine. I, personally, I, I hate Smoya skin. It's not your fault, but I hate it. She just looks so weird. Anywho, like, you're playing Mora, which is okay. You have, like, a very brawly front line. Very anti-dive team. That, that orb is fine, and earlier to try to get some ult charge, which you're gonna get. No need to waste your golem, your healing resource yet, but it's, it's fine, it's just nitpicking. You should be playing a little bit further back, like here, which you can still heal your team, but you're not vulnerable. Like, if they have like a, a Widow or a good Hanzo, and they just took the high ground, they could kill you here. Like, from up here. They can just kill you, that's my point, right? Just, just play with cover more, make sure you are surviving, because if you die, your team dies. Tapping is good, you could throw an orb here too, like a healing orb that way. That's okay, it's not the best orb, but it's okay. You're right, but a little bit too far forward. Can you need to make sure you are the one not dying? Yeah, you, you need to make sure you are not dying more than anything else. Uh, like from this first like minute, the biggest thing is definitely you're just standing in the open a lot of time and very close to your tanks. Which I get that with Mora you need to be close, but you can be close. Like, this is okay. You got cover, right? You can heal them, but when your tanks get out, you need to go like here instead. Behind the pillar again from that angle, you can heal them. You're blocked by this. Because here, like, look how you go. Look where you end up going. First, like I said, you get shot by Hanzo from the main, because you're just all going out of your cover. Um, from the main angle, I mean. And then you go out that way where your team just. They just delete you, right? Like, you're playing in the open from multiple angles, like, from here, from here, like, the Hanzo can see you, the Genji can see you, he was here, he could have shot you, the Ryan the Saria could kill you, you end up playing in the open. And if you die, the team fight is probably lost. When you're playing Brawl and you lose your main healer, it's a big deal. Like, I cannot imagine your team wins this fight unless, like, your Jungrat or your Tordron just kill three people. Okay, yeah, you get out. But, again, the biggest priority is that you survive. If you're playing like a Moira, a Baptiste, or an Ana and you die, you are not throwing, but definitely having a problem here. Either you're playing too close or not using cover, right? It is very, very important that you just stay in cover and stay safe, because if you die, your team loses. I'm okay with that, uh, or you can still throw him for damage. Like, look how much faster they build Colas just because they more survive for longer. Healing Orb is fine. Good hit from your Diva. Um, you're a little bit too far forward again. Like, you could just be playing with this pillar. Being like, here, healing your team, healing your team, right? Healing Orb, use the Healing Orb, use the Healing Orb, okay, good. Pop Colossus is fine, don't focus the Genji, focus that way, single person, one, two, three, four, five people you could potentially get. Also your team can push forward if you push it that way. Drop it from the high guns, okay, because dragons, so again, if you weren't just playing like, here and then that way, you just go back. You end up behind them, or oh, do we actually lose this like immediately? Wow. That's a snowball if I've ever seen one. That's a snowball, like a very big snowball. Ready for 
So now you're playing Mercy. Which, again, with Mercy, it is a little bit more forgivable if you die. Um, but you still want to survive a lot more. Like, your goal should be surviving. Like, when you're playing Moira, you just died first. Like, not both fights, but you died first one fight, you almost died on the second, you had to pop Colossus, and suddenly you didn't get a lot of value out of Colossus. With Mercy, it's a lot easier to survive. Like, especially when you go to Farah. Most of the time, you're just gonna be behind the Pharah, and you should just be with cover. Like, this is fine. Just stay up in the air, and, like, kind of, this is not good. Like, right now, you could be shot. They don't have anyone who can shoot you from this range anyway, which is really good. Like, at this point, you're just like, I'm safe. Um, top of your Ana is good. Then go back to your Pharah, go back to your Pharah, go back to your Pharah, go back to your... I think you just lost your Pharah. She went aggressive. She should die. Um... Okay, you go back to your fire. You should not be here, though. Like, be very careful about your positioning, because, yep. You top off him a crew, which is fine. So you're getting some value. You're, again, just really not playing in positions that will allow you to survive. Like, you're playing in the open a lot of the time. And you're going very aggressive in the middle of the open, very close to the enemy team. Like, even now, you're just still mostly playing here and here. The Pharah's above you, by the way. Good top off, like, yeah, topping off the Macri is good, but just go back to your Pharah. Like, yeah, they have no hit scan, they have nothing that can really pressure you, so being here is okay. But when you are literally above the enemy team, that's just really, really bad, you are too close. Don't worry about the monkey, just keep pocketing your Pharah, maybe hit your Saria a little bit. Ah, oh, sorry, that's a Macri. No need to drop though, right? Like, you don't need to drop all the way down to heal your McCree, you can just do it from the air. Pop back, yeah, back is fine. That's fine. Now damage boost, okay, good. So yeah, I think your mercy is actually pretty good, like, your healing to damage boost ratio is solid. You charge back, you really... Like, you charge back, you faster than you charge Colossus. That's how much better you are doing on mercy than you are Moira. I think the biggest thing is still, you are not powered as in your survival, like, you don't need to do this. That uh, you don't need to do it as hard because they had nothing that could shoot you out of the air. Tracer can pressure you, uh, so it was just better to hi Kevin, stay like high up, and you know get the free value. But you just got too close and almost died twice for it. Died once, almost died twice for it. Like stop why poke. From long range, you are not really a damage character in any way. Good healing, though. Damage is good. Good healing from monkey. Careful, because they do have a torture right now. That could pressure you if you are playing in the open too. That's okay. Like, you're, you're now playing a little bit more recover, which I really like. But, like, look at this, right? Rather than just stay here and heal the Pharah. You go this far into the enemy team and it's like, you could get killed for that. You don't. You probably don't because your fire is getting a ton of value. Uh, so I doubt you will get punished for it. We also use grab. Fire kills two people. But you could get punished here a lot more than, you know, if you were just playing a lot safer. But you guys just roll them. They rolled you, you roll them. And I feel like the only reason they rolled you to begin with is because you were playing Moira. And did not survive the first fight. Like, you were just at immediate first pick. I'm not blaming you, but you are the most important part of that entire comp. If you're playing Moira or Baptiste or Anna with, like, a Reinhardt. It's very likely that if you die, the team fight is just lost. Especially on defense, right? Careful, because now they do have, like, a lot of long-range damage. Even this, you can hit you. Um, so now it's a lot more important that you stay in cover. Because you are going to take damage, right? And play safe, because you are just going to take more damage. Don't do that. Don't flash them. Just, just focus on them. Okay, yeah, that's exactly that's why. Just top them off, then go damage. Don't just swap them off on and off. Uh, you are you hard focus on Diana. Your Macri died. Your monkey's about to die. Yeah. This is a lost fight, by the way. You've got no monkey, you've got no fire. Fire's coming back, but... 
You shouldn't stay on this fight for this long. I get that maybe you don't want to leave your run alone, but... Just, just don't stay and fight, just go out and hide. Can you go back to your Farah again? Don't go... Uh, don't? Don't go out in the open like this, you're just gonna get killed. Your Farah just made that mistake. And you're getting shot a lot now. So exactly the first thing I say on the first round, but on the first round, they had no one to punish you, and now they do. Pull out your pistol, pull out your pistol, pull out your pistol. Mercy's pistol does good damage, just headshot the Genji a bunch. Does she not have cooldowns? She does, she could have just killed the Genji, but... Yeah, there you go. But also you could just pull your pistol out. You end up in the middle of the enemy team again, and this is a recurring theme at this point, right? You're just not proud as your survival, you're just like... Your damage and your healing are okay, you're getting value that way, but you could be surviving a lot more. Like, this is solid, you're playing with cover, it's not ideal, like... Um, you would probably... Uh, you don't have a fire anymore, so it's fine. Um, you probably still want to be like... No, this is fine. Like, if you don't have a fire, this is fine. I thought the fire... You still had a fire, that's my bad. But basically, that's the idea. Just play with cover, play safe, you can still damage boost and heal people around the corner. Play with cover, and you'll be fine most of the time. Top of your Doomfist, that's fine. Just top of your Doomfist. We could engage with Valkyrie here. That's fine too. Valkyrie is really good. With Valkyrie you can just go nuts. You are... I will be surprised if anyone at your rank could kill a Valkyrie Mercy with the region and uh, the mobility. Just move a lot and just hold the left click or the right click. Or pull out your pistol. But Valkyrie, I don't want to say makes you unkillable, but it makes you very difficult to kill. You could have gone for that version of the too, but at this point it's just a fight. Just lost fight, get out, lost fight, get out, lost fight, get out. The faster you get out, the less we are going to have to take to regroup. At this point you're just dead, yeah. But the biggest thing is still just play more with cover, play more safe. Private are living, like you living, like the only person more important than you in this team is Diana. Maybe the monkey. Uh, but Diana needs to live. If Diana dies, the free team fight is off. But if you are alive and Diana dies, then you can resurrect Anna, right? Even if you die for it, that's fine. If the monkey dies and you want to go for the rest, that's probably a good trade. Ten seconds okay, you go forward. Dumbfish is going in. You get to heal your McCree. You should go in a little bit. A good healing. You should definitely be healing. Um, good healing there, but... Your tanks are going in. You're probably dead here. Good rest, huh? You actually don't die, that's pretty impressive. Uh, like, your Anna slept that person who was chasing you. And we win this, right? Like, at this point, it just looks like we win this. And this is just snowball after snowball. <laughs> which is pretty funny. You pull out the pistol, kill the Mercy, Sadnap kills four people. And you're doing good. But in this round, it became a lot more evident how you're just playing very carefree. It feels like you're playing like, no one can kill Mercy anyway. Yeah, people can kill Mercy, even at flat. It's like, not that difficult to kill Mercy when she's in the open. I'm fine with this. Um, right? Just, just play more with cover. Make sure you are safe. The higher you go, the better your movement will be. And the better you move, of course. Like, that's just gonna be better and more hard, harder to kill you, but... The higher you go, also the enemy team will be better at shooting you, so... Always assume that the enemy team can shoot you. Because your movement is probably like at the plot level, and the enemy's aim is probably at the plot level, so it's like a matchup. So just be safe and play with cover anyway. Like, why even, why even peek from outside this... this Why even peek? Why even peek? You are safe. Holding the damage boost in the Bastion, why are you peeking? Why are you peeking? You're gonna get killed. You are, of course, not gonna get killed. But there's a chance you may get killed, like if the Hanzo takes this high ground. Why are you peeking that way now? Why are you peeking? Stop peeking! You are just asking for death every time you do that. You know how the biggest top characters Characters, top players in the game complain about Mercy, uh, double shield Mercy Bastion comps. 
where it was just like stay behind cover and heal them and they were literally playing with one hand because they did not need to move. Why are you moving? Right? If they played with one hand because they did not need to move, uh, that's just very clearly the right thing to do, right? It's not obviously for every situation, but a lot of the time I've noticed that um, people just tend to walk out of cover for no reason. It's like, I'm getting bored by just being patient and getting a lot of value. Like, you cross the open, even. Um, I don't I don't hate this. Like, now you're, the position you're in is... I don't want to say better, but just as good, and it's a lot more difficult to get you. Oh, that to be the point. Why are you... Okay. You were healing on someone who has full health there for a moment and forgot about your Ana. Heal your Ana. Okay, uh, rest your Ana. Heal your Ana. Yeah, rest your Ana. That's right. We are getting some value anyway, but... Uh, <clears throat> heal your Ana. Good. Okay. It feels lost, I'll be honest, but maybe you can make it work. Uh, but again, the biggest thing is just stop playing in the open. Your Russian got some damage, but... It's probably, yeah, he's probably dead. At this point, just get out or die. Go die on the point. Stall for time. Stall for time, die on the point. Just down. The Good kill, by the way. Um, okay, you go for Valkyrie. You are... I want to say you're insane. That's, that's what I want to say. I think you're insane. <laughs> um, joke aside, this is going to be really difficult. It's basically... Um, you and maybe Reinhardt... Because four people, if you get the rest of, it's still a 4v3 and they got better spawns. Uh, and they have a Lucio with beat and they have Coalesce and so they have Dragons. The one thing I'll say is though, is that if you manage to stay on long enough to force another ultimate, you could get value that way. But it doesn't look like you're going to. Yeah. So you waste an ultimate. No reason to jump. Uh, you know what? Maybe you want to take the high ground? I'll give it. I'll give that to you. If you want to take the high ground, that's a decent reason to jump. I thought you were just jumping for no reason. But I'll I'll eat my words on that one. And I'm okay with you taking the high ground. Um, so I'm okay with this. Yeah, they just... Okay, yeah, we're not doing this, but uh, careful about the teleporter. You go to drop. Yeah, the good drop. Heal the Bastion, heal the Bastion. Okay, good. I, you got nerfs of steel, holding damage was through that. But it, it ended up being the right thing to do because your Ana was healing the Bastion, so. It ended up being the right thing to do. I would expect your Ana to go for the Vine and the uh, Sigma instead, but yeah. Or the Domefish instead, but. Your Ana also had balls of steel there. I think I feel aggressive, but it's okay. Like, we won this fight. Do we not? We actually do not win this here, okay. Are they Are they just gonna cap? How do they cap? Because it looks... Okay, you're doing fist dice. Uh, you are also a little overextended. Not in the bad sense, but like, you, you are gonna have to get back to your team and get no value for a moment. That's how they win. They just killed your doom fist and... Um, no one's on point. Yeah, you like you run some point, you get to grab. They use symmetry walls and we die. Okay. I still want to mostly just focus on the fact that you just need to live longer. Most fights, right? You need to prioritize surviving and play with cover. Um, other than that, like your healing is actually pretty good. Your damage boosting is actually pretty good. Your priorities seem pretty good. Like you been trying to rest the Ana, heal the Ana. So your priorities are actually, I think, pretty strong. You just need to survive for longer. Like, especially if you're the main healer, but on Mercy too. So, by the way, welcome to 12 CP. Okay, your fire is going forward. Your fire made a mistake already, but let's not talk about that. Fire should rocket jump out. Don't worry about Lucio, Lucio can self heal and he's safe. That's not Lucio, that's Symmetra. Your Ana's got it anyway, just stay with your Farah, yeah. Top of your Farah, like, even here you can see how, like, playing here would be fine. Wouldn't be the best, but it would be okay. From here you can 
avoid a lot of damage and just still keep pocketing your Farah. But instead you just fall in the middle of the enemy team and die for it. So hopefully you can see that I think you're doing the right things, just not carefully enough. Because you're dying a lot of the time for it. Okay, but this is winnable, we just need to regroup because they got like two dead people. And we did get one tech, two. Your monkey's trying to jump in. Go kill your monkey! You could have guardian energy to your monkey there and you know, help him survive. Okay, okay. Damage push Farah. No need to swap to healing. That's one thing I, I will say. You sometimes swap to healing when your pocketed person is already at full health. Don't do that. Just stay on damage when that happens. But it feels like this could... Yeah, this is winnable. This is very winnable. Like, this is better, right? You play with cover, then you fly through the open for no reason. Uh, then you play with cover again. Topping off your fire is really good. You could go for that res even. Like, honestly, you, okay, not anymore. Um, then you drop for no reason as well. And you end up just getting killed. You actually land on the ground, which is also not that good. But we've got a winning chance. It's not gonna be a draw. We're either going to win or lose. Why in the open? Please don't stand in the open. I still don't know why you're picking so much. You're basically impossible to kill if you uh, if you hold behind cover. You're basically impossible to kill and you're getting a ton of value for your team at no risk. So picking this way is just be like, hey, guys, kill me. I'm here. You can kill me. Break the rank shield and kill me. Or rank and put his shield and you can get killed. <clears throat> Don't damage push fine at this range either, that's like very much the worst choice. You can top off your passion when he reloads, so he doesn't have to stop shooting basically. Careful to your right. Very careful to your right. You still damage push bash and this is okay. I like that you're now this time you're trying to play with cover a little bit more like on previous times you've just forgotten about it. Top of your Ana, I think topping off your Ana was good, or killing your bash on either or just just do it. Don't go for that rest, just back out, just back out. Okay, and this is just us at this point, right? Unfortunate. Good super champ, but yeah. You said you thought it was a win, it was not a win, stole a lot. Um, but no. Overall, I think your Mercy has potential, like a lot of potential. Uh, you got the right ideas, you just need to make sure you are... Oops, that's too royal. Um, you just need to make sure that you are playing safer. Like, if you are playing Moira, there is no reason for you to be like out in the open. Like, a lot of time you are just doing this. I will start in cover, right? Like, you have the right idea, start in cover. And then when you have to go out, you just do this, which is in the open, right? Instead, just be like, cover, 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 fade, now I'm the other cover. And if the enemy was pushing that way, you can't get away with it, right? Um, so with Moira, with Mercy, the biggest thing is definitely just stay alive for longer. Don't just walk through the open because you're going to get killed. Don't frontline because sometimes you were, you were not frontlining, but you were too close to your tanks, which yeah means they can get to you instead of your tank. Um, so with Mercy, it's like... So playing Mercy, um, you can just be like, Hello, yes, you need healing? Okay, I'm gonna heal you from here. And I'm completely safe, no way the enemies can get me. Oh, you need rest? You can get rest from the safety. You need healing? Okay, and there is no reason for you to risk yourself by going out here like this. Right? Why, why would this make a, a better idea than just this? And it, I know it can feel a little boring sometimes, but if you're just, especially if you have like a big poke damage team, like a Bastion, and I feel like this is the best example, but it also applies like if you have a Pharah, um, like, just, if you've got like a Pharah and you're up in the air and you can just be like, okay, I'm gonna, hold on, let me just, I missed that. I'm not great at super jumps. Um, motherfucker. Okay, never mind it. 
Um, but if you can be like, I'm gonna kill the Pharah and still be in cover, that's usually just better than, you know, um, being, having to jump out to the Pharah in the open and be like, oh, hello Pharah, I'm here. Nope, that, that just means you could do this and you're likely to get killed. You can just be like, oh Pharah, I'm here and I'm safe and I'm healing you and I'm damage boosting you. And if I need to move, then I can do that. But I'll try to get to cover and stuff. Uh, but mostly just prioritize your survival. That, that's the biggest thing I can tell you. Survive. Use cover, don't put yourself at risk and survive. And I really feel like the biggest example of that was Hell, why are you why are you picking the cover? Like, let me get out of my career. Why are you picking cover to do this? Like you don't have to pick cover to do this. You are still just holding left click on like a Reinhardt or a Bash, right? Uh, there is no reason for you to have to do this and be like in the open and whatnot, especially jumping as well. You can just do this. Crouch around the corner. Hello, you need healing, I'll I'll, I'll top you off. You need healing, I'll top you off. I'll top you off. Oh, you, you are doing damage? Okay, I'll damage boost you. I'll damage boost you next. Just don't put yourself at risk unnecessarily. Alright. Um, let's take a 10 minute break here because I've got to go to the bathroom and up next are team reviews. So I'll take a 10 minute break and then I'll come back to do team reviews. I'll be right back, chat. <laughs> 